Hi Yogi, today's practice is just a short 15 minute flow to really help to clear a busy mind. So roll out your mat if you have blocks to support you then bring them along and let's get started. So come down onto your mat and we're going to start in any seated position that feels good for you. So you can either sit onto your heels, you can sit right down in a cross leg position, whatever you really think serves you best today. And just allowing yourself to start to relax into this position. Allowing your eyes to close. And taking a couple of deep breaths into your belly. So allowing the belly muscles to completely relax. And just for a moment, allowing your internal focus and gaze to rest on the space between your eyebrows. So drawing your focus and your attention to the space between your eyebrows. You might begin to notice a light. You might feel the mind is starting to pull away from this point of focus. So just gently drawing it back whenever you need to. And I invite you to maintain the focus on this part of the body whenever you need to through the practice, whenever your mind wanders away, whenever you need to refocus, bringing your attention back to that space between your eyebrows, your third eye chakra or Ajna. And this will encourage the mind to relax and for your focus and your thoughts to draw inwards, encouraging the mind to relax. Now gently starting to blink your eyes open. We're going to make our way into a tabletop position. So on all fours, on your hands and knees. Spread out your fingers, bring your knees under your hip bones and then press the tops of the feet down into the ground. And just take a moment to feel the ground. Feel the ground through your fingertips, through the pads of the hands, through the heel of the hand, through the knee down through your shins to the tops of the feet and drawing your belly button in towards your spine and now gently start to rock the body side to side keeping that nice strong connection to the ground maybe consciously starting to deepen your breath now and then let's start to rock the body forwards and backwards. So bringing the body weight, feel it deeper in the hands and the wrists and then taking it back towards the knees, the ankles, the feet. And feeling the shift of the body weight. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose to encourage stillness through the mind. And slowly bringing yourself back to centre. Let's move straight into child's pose, Balasana. So taking the knees wide, sit back towards the heels of the feet. And now start to walk your hands forward. Press the palms firmly into the ground. And before we relax down for a few breaths, take a little bit of movement side to side here. So massaging into the shoulders, but keeping that nice, strong grounding feeling through the fingers and through the hands. And now as you exhale, slowly bringing the head down towards the ground. And taking a couple of deep breaths here. Feeling the connection again at that space between your eyebrows with the ground. Option if you want to, to bring your hands under your head or a block underneath your head instead. And now gently lifting the body up. We're going to bring it forward, Let's draw those knees in, make your way down onto your belly. And we're going to find some fluid movement here. So sliding the hands back in line with your ribs, 
Press down into your thighs and your feet. Inhale to lift the heart. Find a baby cobra pose. There's no pressure in the hands, just the heart and the back working. Exhale to release it down. And again, inhale. Send the heart forward to lengthen the spine. Exhale to release it down. And one more time. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And exhale to release it down. Now inhale, push up onto your hands and knees. Exhale, take the knees wide, push back into child's pose. But as you inhale, we're going to scoop it forwards again. Exhale, lay down onto your belly. Hands are in line with your ribs. Inhale, lift the heart into cobra, no pressure in the hands. Exhale, release. Inhale, push up to your knees. Exhale, take it back into child's pose. Do that two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down onto your belly. Inhale for a lift. Exhale, releasing it down. Inhale, lift up onto the knees. Exhale, into child's pose. One more time. Inhale, scoop it forwards. Exhale, down onto your belly. Inhale, cobra or baby cobra. Exhale down and then inhale up onto the knees. Exhale into child pose, Balasana. We're going to hold it here for a few breaths. Head to the ground or onto your hands. inhale slowly start to push yourself back up so we're going to move into a squat position to come into a forward fold so taking your time tuck your toes to lift up keeping your knees soft maybe taking your feet a bit wider than the hips if the hamstrings feel tight and relaxing the body down towards your thighs now if the hamstrings at the back of the legs here do feel very tight option to grab hold of a block or a couple of blocks just to prop yourself up feel a bit more comfortable make sure you're not feeling too much of a stretch through the lower back we're going to hang out here literally just allowing the body to hang maybe grabbing hold of the elbows have a little rock from side to side just start to feel the body become heavier, feel the energy, the blood move up towards the head. And again, drawing your attention back to the space between your eyebrows. And now releasing the hands down towards the ground. As you inhale, scoop the arms forward, push the body weight into the heels of the feet, lift your toes, lift your belly away from your thighs, and come into Utkatasana, chair pose. It's an option to stay here if it's in your practice to lift the arms up in line with the ears, and you can, but you can keep the arms in line with the shoulders to relax the shoulders, or even bring the hands to heart centre in a prayer position, and Jami Mudra. Really pressing down into the heels, just start to feel that energy, that heat move through the legs. And then exhale, move back into your fold. Uttanasana, belly towards the thighs, allowing the head to relax. And taking a few breaths here to feel the connection with the ground through the feet. Again, bringing your attention to the space between your eyebrows. Now as you exhale, we're going to soften the knees and step back on the right leg to find a low lunge position. So if you have blocks to support you, you can grab them and allow yourself to lift up a little bit higher, just finding that support with the blocks. If not, hands on the ground or on your thigh is completely fine. And take in a few breaths here. Start to feel that space releasing in the right hip and thigh. Feeling the feet press into the ground. Now option to stay here, or we can start to lift up, interlock your fingers and bring your hands back behind your head. We're going to open the chest, take a nice deep breath up towards the heart. Inhale, drawing the shoulders back. And then exhale, slowly start to round into the spine, drawing the elbows towards each other, taking care not to pull on your neck. And then inhale to lift it back to centre. 
Exhale the hands back down to the ground or onto your thigh and take a couple of breaths here. Pressing the feet down, scoop the arms up as you inhale, take them up towards the sky. And now exhale, bring the palms together and then press the outside edge of your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows. And allow the shoulders to be soft. Feel the connection of the palms pressing together, the thumbs on the head, the feet on the ground. And now exhale, slowly start to release the hands back down to the ground. So taking your time, tuck your right toes and step forwards again into your forward fold, coming back into that Uttanasana position, forward fold. Just a couple of breaths here. Again, you might want to grab hold of the elbows, rock side to side, maybe even interlock the fingers to roll the shoulders and start to bring the hands overhead to open up the chest and the shoulders a bit if that works for you any movement that feels good or just allow yourself to be completely still. This time before we step back, inhale for a half lift, send the heart forwards, fingers onto your shins or the blocks, exhale fold, let the body become heavy, drop the head towards the knees. Again inhale, half lift, send the heart forwards, exhale fold, allow the head to become heavy. And one more time, inhale, sending the heart forwards, and then exhale, fold. You're keeping the knees soft, we're going to plant the hands to step back on the left leg, drop the knee down to the ground. Again, you have the option to use your blocks there for a little bit more support, coming into your low lunge position. So either keeping the hands on the blocks, on the ground, or even pressing up onto your thigh. Again, taking a moment to really feel the connection through the ground with the feet. Start to feel the space you're creating through the left hip and thigh. And now pressing the feet down, option to stay here, or we can start to lift up, interlock the fingers, and bring the hands back behind the head. Inhale, drawing the shoulders, the elbows back to open the heart, take a big breath. And then exhale, pull the belly button in as you round through the spine, drawing the elbows towards each other. And then inhale to lift it up. Exhale to release the hands down onto the ground, the fire, or your blocks. With your next inhalation, scooping the arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, bringing the palms down, palms together, connecting the outside edge of your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows, allowing the shoulders to relax. I'm just taking a couple of breaths here again, feeling that connection, head to the thumbs, palms together, feet to the ground. And then exhale, slowly start to release the hands down. This time, draw the hips and the knees back. We're coming back into our tabletop position. Very gentle rock from side to side, massaging into the hips, into the shoulders. Maybe starting to feel an energy shift move up through your body. And one last time, let's find child's pose. So knees wide or together, your choice. Sit down to the heels of your feet and then slowly walk in the hands forward or bringing the hands underneath the head. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, relaxing the head down towards the ground. today in my Krasana or crocodile position. So bringing the belly down to the ground, taking your feet up a little wider than your hips and you can either press the tops of the feet into the ground or turn them inwards slightly to open up the outside edge of the hip if that feels better for you. Palms onto the ground, head onto the hands, 
Let's just take a moment to breathe and allow the body to connect to the ground. So just take in a few deep breaths here with your inhalation, feeling your belly, your lungs, your chest, your forehead connect to the ground. And with your exhalations, feeling your whole body relax into the ground. Allowing the stillness in your body to encourage stillness and space in your mind. And just staying here for a minute or so now until you feel ready to continue with your day. Namaste.